I want to start this video by saying thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed to my YouTube channel. We're currently at 1,500 subscribers at the time this video is being recorded, a number I thought I never achieved, so thank you. And now, let's get on with the video. In today's video, we're going to take a look at GUI, which stands for Graphical User Interface, more specifically Horizons 4 GUI. Thankfully, Unity has super useful tools to create good looking GUI. But for this video, I'm going to use a free asset from the asset store. Let's get started. So this is the asset we're going to use for this video. It is called Lean GUI. The reason why we're going to use this free asset from the asset store is because it provides very flexible panels and buttons. It also provides a alert function that has lerping built into it. So download this and add it to your asset store and then import it into your project. And after you import this, create a new scene. After you create a brand new scene, create a canvas. So since we're not going to use any special background, we're not going to mess with this background. Before we go any further, we want to set the canvas scaler to scale with the screen size and give it a reference resolution. So this is the UI that I came up with. And now what I'm going to do is create a prefab of this game object. So drag this into any folder in your assets and that will make a prefab of that object. Okay, so back into our game where we have these canvases. By the way, we don't need this one. Our existing canvas, which is the UI canvas. What we're going to do is just drag and drop our other canvas. And now what we have is a overlay in our game. So as you might have guessed, now we're, we're going to build a function to enable and disable these and the pause the game. Declare a public game object and declare two new methods. Obviously, one is for pausing the game and one is for resuming the game. And then what we're going to need is one last Boolean value. And this is a flag. This is going to act as a flag to indicate if the game is paused or not. So if the game is paused, that flag becomes true. If the game is resumed, that flag is equal to false. For pausing the game, we're going to use Unity's time scale. So when pausing the game, time dot time scale becomes zero. And for resuming the game, that time scale becomes one. To trigger these, we're going to go into our fixed update. And before we do anything else, we're going to check for a button hit down. So if input dot get key down key code dot escape, this means we press the escape button. Now what we need is another if statement inside this one to trigger one of these. So we're going to say if game paused, then we want to resume the game. Else we want to pause the game. So this is going to pause and resume the game. And obviously one last thing to do is to enable and disable these canvases. So if the game is paused, that canvas becomes true. And if we're resuming the game, we want this to obviously be false. And if this is true, the main UI has to be false. So what we need is another reference to the UI elements. Obviously, when the pause menu is true, the UI has to be false. So let's do that. OK, so here is our function. Let's save. OK, now we're inside our game. We can play it, obviously. And now let's pause the game. Let's just hit escape. The buttons all work fine, but if we go back to escape, nothing works. And that is because we're using a fixed update instead of a update. So let's just use update. Okay, now if we hit escape, the menu comes up, we can still click it. And if we hit escape again, it'll go away. Okay, to finish it off, I've set a Gaussian blur filter attached to a script and now when we hit play and we press escape the background becomes blurry and we can obviously click on these 